At Sprout, our mission is to help create spaces that foster creativity, independence, confidence, and resilience. And often that results in a product, but sometimes um, that's just a design experience. Recently, we've been looking for ways to get our kids outside more and provide more opportunities for open-ended play, and this has been one of the results. So I want to take you on a little journey and show you how we've done it, and hopefully that provides some inspiration for you and some solutions for this summer. Let's go. All right, so I'm not always this kind of parent, but today I got both the boys. Uh, a couple things that we're looking for. One, our pans like this, broad, they can catch a lot of water, and they have a handle right here that we can bend up. Um, you probably want two or three of those. Um, then we're looking for some deeper pots like this. We can deal with the ones with a little screw back here. Um, we're going to mount those to the fence. I've got another one. This is a really little pot. I think it'll be kind of a fun little place for kids to put water. Um, and another one of those with the bendable handles. And one more that's got this funky handle that I think we can make work. Then we got a ladle. We want ladles with metal handles so we can bend hooks in them. We'll show you how to do that later. And then pitchers. With our pitchers, again, we're looking for the open handle that I can hook it on a fence like this. So there's another one of those. And one more. So we're at the farm store now. And what we're looking for here is this cattle panel. Um, the most ideal ones have a little tighter mesh. Um, and probably not this like 16 foot long one. Uh, this one right here. So this looks about ideal. Put that in our yard. Actually put it this way. The tight mesh at the top. And the other thing that we'll need here are some of these tables. So we want two of these. We'll drive one in the ground on each side. Um, you don't have to have these. If you have a fence or something, you can mount that wire mesh on, that'll work. Um, you could also mount the uh, pots directly to a fence. Um, but the thing I like about the wire mesh is it's very modular and lets your kids move it around as they want. All right, so our last stop is here at the hardware store. We are looking, uh, first thing we're looking for is some tubing. So we're looking for Ideally, some clear tubing like this. We're looking for a 3 8 inch outside diameter, like this right here, um, or possibly one quarter inch outside diameter. Yep, that. Like this stuff right here. Um, if you want lower flow and less water on your lawn, um, go with the smaller I stuff. I want to get some out. Uh, these guys might be helpful as well. Okay. We're in the electrical apartment. This is our last stop. We're looking for some of these guys. These are called midget one-hole straps, I guess. Um, as well, there's a couple different sizes of these. Um, these, oh my goodness. These will help us mount those uh, pots with the plastic handles that we're gonna screw off to the fence. Yeah, what? I, I have like the foam on my head. I know, those are pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so this is the panel that we are going to put in place. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put one stake at this end and one stake at this end. Um, these are the tea stakes. I call this tea stake because they look like a tea mm -hmm. on the end of them. Um, you'll need something like a sledgehammer or an axe to get these in place. Then um, they just pound. Right down into your lawn. Here, hold on to that one. Okay, yeah, stand it up. Can you help me stand it up? How do you stand it up? Come over here and pick it up. Alright. So then, I'm just going to tie this on here. Here, we'll do that on the other side, okay? If you don't want to put stakes in your lawn, um, you could also mount it, say, against a wall or a fence like that. Um, and if you don't want to get one of these panels, you could potentially just mount your things right to the fence, but that's probably a lot more work. 
So now our challenge is to figure out how to take all of these upcycled materials, our pots and our pans, get them to hang on that wire rack, and connect them with hoses like this. Um, and this is part of the, I think this is like the funnest part of an upcycled DIY project is there are like no two things the same. Dad, and so you gotta figure out how to make them all work. So we've got a couple ways that we're gonna try here. Um, last time I was able to find, when we went to a yard sale and we built this one last time, we were able to find these with the flat handle right here, coming right out here had a little rubber thing on it. I just pulled that rubber thing off, then we bend it up and we bend a hook in it. That worked perfect. But today when we went to the thrift store, we didn't find any of this type. Um, all these handles don't come off. So we're gonna try some new stuff. So let's start with this guy. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend that handle up straight. So let's see. <clears throat> Try these vice grips. Ooh. It's coming off. Fuck oh. the handle breaking. There it is. <laughs> Alright. So inside that handle there's this stubby little thing. So what we can maybe do is bend that into a hook. Let's see how this works. So I'm trying to stick that down in the hole so it doesn't. And that thing here come over on this side right let's see how this works we're about there oh yeah oh okay let's see if we can this. all right this one just about had us bested um but i think we know how we can hook it on these guys, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is put a hole in each side of it, and then it can hang between on one of the wall, on one of the bars. Okay. When you're drilling in these things, just beware. This is gonna generate some aluminum chips that are a little bit sharp. Um, hold on, I'm gonna have you stand back for just a minute. I'm just gonna put it in here to catch the aluminum chips. Mm. Here, move. Can you go over there? Yeah. Thank you. I thought I brought some safety glasses. Oh, here we go. I did. Are you using those glasses for you? Uh huh. Okay. Keep my eyes safe. All right. After I go through, I like to wiggle it around a little bit. It takes a few of the burrs off. And then to get the rest of the burrs off, I use just a slightly larger bit. And just drill that hole for just a minute to clean it up. We're going to put these clips on here, and I'm going to use these channel locks to close that hook so it doesn't come off. And then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees so that it's easy to hang on that surface. Here. There we go. See how that wire's closer? 
That's why we like ones with the wires really close together. It makes it easier to hang pots on it. Ready to set this up now. Uh, I found that it typically is best to start with a nice big pot way up high, like this guy or this one. Um, and the higher the better, so this would probably be ideal, just because each time it cascades into a new pot, it takes up some, some of the height. So, um, we want to start it nice and high. I'm just going to come over here and snake this hose right into this. Oh, did I get you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> dump right in there. Okay, so when we drill the hole into here, typically we're going to want it to come straight out the sides and pretty low to the bottom. Okay. There we go. Let's do about that much hose. I'm going to put a hole Right back here. It's over there. Okay, can we put them going the other way? Are you ready? Man, this is great. <laughs> This is so I'm great already. Here. You gonna put those on? Yeah. I'm giving them back to you. No, no, I want you to leave them on. Yeah. Okay. So we've got this one finished up and we're testing it and it seems to be working pretty well. Um, just a couple design principles that I found effective as we do this. Again, start up oh, high Dad, with one base want, or one. Uh, ladle's not it, that ladle's up. not filling up. No. How do you think we could fix it? I don't know. All right, well, I want to see if we can figure it out. Um, so it's nice to start up high with one big pot and then distribute. I like pitchers closer because you can see into them. The kids can see the water level with a few holes um, with free flowing water that come out. And then I like to have pans down below that are easy to catch that water. Our, the upper pans, I'll often put holes in, um, but the lowest pans usually not, so they stay very full and offer a place for kids to recycle the water back up high. We hope that these ideas can be helpful as you look for creative ways to get your kids out this summer during the heat. If you decide to make something, We'd love to see what you do. Share it on Instagram with hashtag WaterYourSprout. Thanks.